Hey Bedheads, so today I'm going to talk about my experience getting into the Fashion Institute of Technology. I just finished my freshman year of college there and absolutely loved it. I just wanted to talk about getting in and how I got in. I obviously don't know how everyone else gets in or really what they chose out of mine or what they thought made me a good candidate to get accepted into the school, but I get questions all the time about this. I think their acceptance rate is 40%, which is high, isn't it, Audrey, for college? But I don't really know. It was the only college that I applied for, so that's great. And I did get in, I didn't get waitlisted, which I was excited for, because I had um, a few people I knew that did get waitlisted, so I was like so nervous that I was gonna get waitlisted too. I was like, I swore I was going to, and I already moved here, so I was like, oh. Definitely may have been a god thing. I think that when I graduated from high school, I had like an A, B average, so not like genius or anything, definitely. And I ended with a 3.7 GPA, so pretty average, I feel like. And I'm a fashion business management major, so I know it's a lot different than if you're going into design or to be a stylist or anything like that. I know that that's a lot more competitive to get into and I just did like the business management so it wasn't as hard. But for the more arts degrees, you have to send in a portfolio of either like drawings or different designs, some sort of creative project um, depending on your major. So that is definitely more stressful and a little bit harder than what I had to do which was just send an essay in. And in my essay, I just wrote about my experience here in New York City. I had lived here for about half a year when I applied, I think, or maybe maybe just a few months actually. But I was working in the fashion industry at a higher end boutique in the West Village called Intermix. So I uh, talked about that and how I've been loving that so far and how I loved the management aspect of it. And I just said like, I came to New York thinking I wanted to do styling or a, more of a design perspective. And through my experience with my job, I realized that I like more of the business aspect of it and the leadership roles that being a manager takes. So I talked about that and then I talked about how I, as a kid, I've always like loved fashion and wanted to be in the fashion industry. I was always like, styling people and how I came from a small town where fashion was not a big deal at all and nobody really cared about it but it was always like this desire inside of me that I just loved to use as a creative outlet. How fashion kind of has made me who I am and not necessarily that I even express myself through fashion but I take fashion and like make it, it like morphs my per personality almost. Like I don't necessarily dress like I, Bethany, my personality would dress. I dress like who I want to be, if that makes sense, and how, um, I don't know, fashion and um, everything that revolves around the fashion industry, how it really does like influence others, not only in a creative way, but also like just to inspire people, and it also gives so many people confidence. Um, so there's so much that you can talk about within fashion. I would say probably to try and bring it to a deeper level than just like, oh, fashion is fun and cute and whatever. Um, obviously, keep it tailored to like you and your personality and your personal relationship with fashion and with clothes because I think they'll be able to tell if you're like bull crapping the whole way. But yeah, that's kind of just like what I talked about in the essay. I think it was only like one or two pages long, if I can remember. This was like a year and a half, almost two years ago that I applied. I don't remember exactly, but I remember it being like really easy to write it because I was so stressed out and I put it off for so long. I didn't want to write my essay because uh, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, but I finally sat down and I ended up writing it in like 0.2 seconds. I sent it to my older sister, my brother-in-law, and my dad to look over and check for like spelling errors, grammatical errors, and just to let me know what they thought about it. I made some changes. But other than that, I guess I just suggest that right when you're allowed to like apply for the year that you're wanting to go, definitely do it as soon as possible. And yeah, just be true to yourself. Talk about like personal experiences. People love to hear about other people's like testimonies and kind of just like their life experiences. Um, so definitely keep it like tailored to yourself. Talk a little bit about like what um, you bring to the table and why you think FIT would be a good fit for you and how you'll bring different things things maybe that everyone else won't bring. Like I talked about, my Midwestern life experience will be different than a lot of other people in New York City. Um, I think I also talked about being a Christian in it. Maybe not. I don't know. They, they want to know that you're different than everyone else and that you're going to bring a different 
aspect or different set of things to the table than everyone else will. And then just say that you're like excited to learn and excited to soak up what FIT has for you all and all of that kind of stuff. Other than that, I don't know what else I have to say. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to comment back to you all. I also took a gap year in between high school and college. So if you're interested in that, I did wait. I took a gap year and moved to New York City right out of high school, lived here and worked in the fashion industry, just doing retail and styling and selling and stuff for a year and then I started college. So they didn't seem to care that I was taking a gap year. I think that's something that definitely has to do with New York City. Everyone pretty much takes a gap year or is like super open to going to college later on or I don't know, people are more open to like dysfunctional or like not typical college experiences than in the Midwest, I've definitely noticed. And then you can also say something maybe about like your extracurricular activities in high school. I did student council and I was student council president my sophomore year. So I talked a little bit about that, but yeah, I guess just don't like stress about it too much, but definitely like be on time with everything and get everything done and sent in and I think you have to like pay to apply, so get all your payments done and everything. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Oh, and also with like the payment thing, okay, FIT, first of all, is so cheap, like literally crazy cheap. So if you are looking at fashion and thinking that like Pratt and Parsons and everything are super expensive, then you're right. And FIT is so cheap. Um, but like Michael Kors went there. I know a lot, like a lot of people in the fashion industry went there. So that's really cool. And obviously like shows that it's a good reputable school. Also, if you want to live here a year before you start, you would get in-state tuition um, and pay a lot less than everybody else, which is what I did. If you want to learn more about my FIT experience, I talk about like my experience with all the professors and my schedule and what classes I took and stuff. I'll leave that video in the description box down below. So also check that out and I'll also have it on the end slate of this video. But I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bedheads. Love you a lot.